my name is Brianna Fraser, and I was curious about bullying in PSHS. So I interviewed people around the school to hear their opinions on what truly goes on. Hi, my name is Trina Papalia. Calvin Schnur. Hi, my name is Nikki Dazon. My name is Taylor Marshall. How do you define bullying? I define bullying as any un unwanted action. A behavior that is intended to hurt somebody else. It is attempting to hurt someone physically or mentally or verbally, I guess. How often do you find slash see bullying in our school? Um, I would say I find it more than I actually see it. Every day, it could be in class, outside. It's probably hidden quite well from teachers. It's a lot harder to distinguish between if someone's just getting like pushed around by their friends or someone's actually being hurt. Do you think the school does enough to prevent bullying? I think there is some awareness about it, but I always think there's room for improvement. No. I think that our school has the programs in place to help those who are being bullied and those who need help. If you are being tormented by somebody and you don't come and talk to me, I have no idea, so there's nothing I can do about it. So. Do you have an experience with bullying? But, yeah. Growing up, I was the person being bullied, and then as I got older, I was a person bull bullying others. Um, I, not myself, have been bullied, but I did have a friend when we were young, and she encouraged me to tag along with her in bullying a couple of other individuals. Um, everyone's been a bystander, everyone's seen bullying. One day I think I'd like to make amends with the people we bullied. Yeah, I, I do. Um, I was bullied, I was bullied quite badly in school, um, in public school. I, um, I had one particular girl who just seemed to enjoy making me the target of her frustrations, anger, whatever, whatever it was that she was feeling. Um, she would uh, say things, she would make fun of me, she would um, get others to get on board with her and laugh at me. There would be a group of girls together and they would make fun of me. I remember one day um, coming in from outside and uh, we were going up the back steps to get to our classroom and she literally cornered me and, and like had me in a corner and you know everybody's standing around behind her and there she says, do you think you're pretty? And I'm like, do I think I'm pretty? Why? Well, yeah, yeah I, I did think I was pretty, but what do you say to that? Yes, people are going to laugh at you. Um, do you think you're popular? That was the next question. No, I don't think I'm popular, but I don't really want to say. It's just, you can't answer that question. Um, it was degrading. It was embarrassing. And, uh, and later, because I had the nerve to, you know, say something to my friend about it, and she overheard, um, it was reason for her to beat me up. Why do you think bullying happens? <laughs> That's a really good question. I think bullying happens largely because the person doing the bullying is acting out on behaviors of what have, has happened to them. Some of us get dealt a really crappy hand in life and you know when we're young we, we don't learn how to deal with that. Kids our age are not mature enough to um, express um, anger or envy or jealousy in any other way other than attempting to hurt someone else. If I'm mean to you, it's not because it's not because you're a bad person, it's because there's something going on with me. People disagree on things and they don't know how to handle it, so they do it in a negative way. Is there a difference between high school and public school bullying? I feel there is a difference between high school and public school bullying in that when kids are younger, I don't think they necessarily realize that it's bullying that they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think that the bullying can probably get worse. Names at other people, I think that's more public school bullying before kids are told that that's not appropriate in a public setting. It's not appropriate at all, but um, in high school kids kind of take that behind closed doors and just, it's a lot more hush-hush, I guess. Um, they're probably mimicking or um, copying behaviors that they've experienced themselves, largely from people at home or from other students. I think as students get older, they, they know that what they're doing is wrong and they know that it's defined as bullying. 
I think bullying has it's changed significantly from when I was in school. When I was in school, and if I was like the girl that gave me a hard time, you know, like literally, she chased me home, there was a little bit of a fight, and then I got, it was a Friday night, I got to be by myself all weekend and not have to worry about it. We don't have that today. Today we have the internet, we have cell phones, we have all kinds of things, we can't get away from it. So, um, you know, and kids in public school have that. They have cell phones, they have social media. It's just that we're inundated with, with opinions and um, people that feel brave behind closed doors. Do I think it's different? I think it's maybe worse, but I think the effects are very much the same. After interviewing everyone, it's clear that bullying is still a very present issue, but it is more concealed than ever before. If you or anyone you know is experiencing bullying, don't hesitate to come forward. You can talk to student services, a friend, a family member, your favorite teacher. Your options are endless.